Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, episode two of the Washington Commanders franchise. Here we go. We got to finish up the preseason here. We got two games left, make the roster cuts, and then we are going to set ourselves up for our week one matchup against the very, very lowly Arizona Cardinals. So I don't expect to get a lot of wins this year. If we are going to get one, week one needs to be where it happens for sure. We did make a move here in the roster today. Ricky Sills Jones, the tight end. We went and picked him up from the free agent market here. We are down two tight ends on the roster right now. With Bates being done for the rest of the preseason. And then we have another guy that's down for, I believe he was down for the year, if I'm not mistaken. So we went out, picked up Ricky Sills Jones just for some depth. Whether he makes the final roster or not remains to be seen, but he's a little bit better backup option than what we had on the roster already. So Ricky Sills Jones, the newest Washington commander, Hopefully he can do something for us here in the preseason because the passing game looked like shit in game number one. We also edited the sliders here before we start this next preseason game. I went and got these sliders off the Operation Sports forums. They are by Matt 10. I have used his sliders the last probably four or five seasons that I played Madden franchise mode. So I know his sliders. I trust his sliders. We're going to try them out here. Is it going to make the game a lot easier? No, not really. Is it going to make it a little more fair? I think so but it kind of turned down the run blocking of both user and CPU. So the running game might not be as effective as it was a week one. And then the CPU accuracy is gone down a little bit and catching is down by two. So hopefully we're not going to see Josh, uh, Josh Dobbs style player. That's actually going to just light us the hell up. Little Monday night preseason action here. It gets Lamar in the Ravens. Let's see how it's, oh my God, that's a beautiful start. St. Juice with the pick. Let's go, baby. Oh my God, Robinson just got stuck in the mud right there. We're gonna pick up a couple though. That's a decent run. I'm curious to see just how much this run blocking being downgraded is gonna affect us here. Oh, that went out, Robinson. Oh, you gotta catch that, son. You gotta catch it. We need that. Spot of the field, you gotta worry about Mark Andrews all day. You know it's gonna be coming. You no, know it's gonna be coming. Oh, he's going back to the receiver, Zay Flowers. He looked really good that drive too. That's unfortunate. Oh, let's go. Emmanuel Forbes getting a pick. Yes, sir. All right. This this defense is looking much better here in game number two. Oh, Chase Young dinged up. That's not a good look. Oh, you don't want to see that. Oh, somebody's got to hang on to a ball, man. Come on, boys. Show some heart here on the goal line. Don't let Lamar keep it. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, I, I gotta have better blocking than that, guys. Come on now. My dude is eating my lunch back here. That one out. Jahan Dotson making a little something happen. That's just a bad pass. That's just an ugly read and a worse throw. Fuck out of here. Jesus Christ, dude. What are we doing? My guy just stopped and started like four times on that run. I got to be honest. I think the offense has looked worse here with the sliders than we did in the first preseason game. This has not been good. Could also be the Ravens defense a little bit better, too. We are uh, definitely outmatched here. Oh, we got to play. We got to play. I mean, just nothing doing in the run game today. Four for nine for Gibson. Robinson didn't fare much better in the first half. Another third down. Can we actually get in the red zone and do something today? Oh my God, he came right through the middle of the line. They are so bad up front. Jesus. Somebody hold a fucking block, man. Why is Patrick Queen in this game in the fucking fourth quarter? Holy shit. It's just, it's all horrendous. The coverage is phenomenal. We can't do shit. Nobody can get open on this team. Oh my God, they're awful. We're learning some hard truths about ourselves in this game, man. Jesus Christ. It's right here. This one play is gonna tell me what I need to know about this team. Do we have any heart? Can we pick up two yards on a three-man front? We struggled to do that. Not what I wanted to see is Jake Fromm back in this game. But here we go. Kemp, another nice grab from him. 
What's making this worse is here we are deep in the fourth quarter. Patrick Queen is still in this game just wrecking the living shit out of me. Why is he in the game? So no surprise, game one ends in another absolute blowout. We had four field goals, three field goals, three. We had three field goals from Joey Sly. That was all the offensive production we could muster. I don't know if we saw the red zone. I really don't think we did. Sam Howe, Jesus Christ, nine of 16. Brissett, five of 13, one of four from Fromm. It was just not a spectacular performance. The running game was horrendous today. Antonio Gibson was my leading receiver in the second half with four catches for 19 yards. God bless us. As if the Ravens game was not bad enough, now we get to see the Bengals at home. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. I don't think we're going to get a good read on our team in this preseason at all right now. Oh, no. Oh, this is not the way you wanted this game to start, man. The ones looked so good last week. What happened? All I'm really wanting out of this game is just to see a little bit of composure from the quarterback. Control the game. We don't have to score on every drive. Just look, just signs of positivity in the offense. That's all I'm really needing. Give me that. Oh my God, he got bumped twice and that route was absolutely torched. So we got the running game looking pretty solid. Can we get something going in the pass department? Not on this play, we are not. Jesus, I had the tight end, but I was looking at B and I was kind of staring him down. I think we paid the price. All right, we're just trying to get in field goal position. That's all we're really looking for here. Oh, I had him. God, he takes forever to get rid of that ball. Fourth and one. We're going to go for it. It's preseason. Why not? We need to put some points on the board. I need to see something from this offense that shows that they're going to be able to do the thing in the regular season. There we go. Play action fake here. Can anybody get open? Not really. Oh, even the dump off couldn't get there. I need Stromberg to hold that block a little better. I need him to improve quickly. Third and goal. I think we moved the ball a yard. Put it outside. Oh, he's just sitting on it. Damn. Jonathan Allen is absolutely destroying the running game right now. This front four may be what holds us together this year. Play action. Don't let him come over the middle. Beautiful. Would love to get Terry McLaurin involved. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know if I hit the right button. I think I hit the wrong button, but I double tapped the shit out of that. Jesus. The offensive line can do nothing. Oh, my God. Sam Howe might actually get a first down. He's got some wheels. Sam Howe has got some wheels. I mean, we're having to take the underneath stuff constantly. I hate doing it. Damn. Give me that. Hang on, Terry. Oh, Terry. You got to catch those. Oh, my God. We had Curtis Samuel wide open, and we took way too long to get rid of that ball. This might be a dangerous play. We're sending the blitz right up the middle. Oh, no, the run. God, we are on it. Oh, no, no. We didn't get the tackle. Somebody stop Joe Mixon. He had four carries for zero yards at that point, and then ripped that one off. Can we get a big third down stop for once? We cannot. T. Higgins. Oh. Well, the defense would look really terrific for the most part. It's outside of that first big play, but, I mean, we just let Cincinnati come right down the field on us here. Oh, my God. How does T. Higgins make that grab? How does Forbes not knock that ball down? So one thing I'm figuring out, I have got to learn how to read the linebackers in this game because I am throwing into coverage more than I know what to do with. What is that route Jahan Dotson is running here? Holy shit, that's going to take an eternity to get open. We are not going to have that kind of time. But we do got some Terry McLaurin, though. Let's go, baby. Big play. First big play of the preseason, I'm pretty sure. Somebody has got... Can we get on the ball? We, can, we can't. Okay, 76 is just refusing to turn around. The whole team is diving at his legs for the ball. And my man is still engaged in that block. I don't know who just came off that edge right there. I think it was Hendrickson. He, I mean, I don't even know if my lineman touched him. That boy was on us quick. What the fuck kind of coverage is that? I feel like the only way to make zones work, and I don't want to have to do this every time, but I feel like I'm going to have to. Well, I didn't work at all there. Jesus. Like, 
playing underneath in the coverage is the only way I'm making it happen. And Joe Burrow doesn't miss a pass. No matter what he does, if I tried to throw my receivers open the way he throws his open, I would get intercepted five times a game. Oh, God, I was there. We just, I, I wasn't there quick enough. Damn. God bless. I mean, we got Terry. Can we get him the ball? We cannot. It was way too long. Way too long. I could not get the left side of my line to hold a block to save my life. Why are you why are you stepping out of bounds? Why are you stepping out of bounds? Where's the ball placement? I mean, it wasn't terrific, but it wasn't like, let me just throw my whole fucking body out of bounds for it. Okay. Could just, I mean, could have kept them toes on the sideline. All right, third quarter, we still got the ones out here. And honestly, I probably would have kept them out here anyway. I have just not seen enough from my one. I don't know what that was. I really don't. I'm really thinking about taking off the momentum or home field advantage or whatever the hell that thing is. I absolutely hate this system. Get down, get down, Sam. Good hit McLaurin underneath, gonna pick up another first down. Thank God for him. Nine of 20 from Sam Howell. This is just not, not an inspiring performance at all from our young quarterback. Leno is getting absolutely torched off the left side. Melvin Ingram is all over me. Okay, there we go. We finally got somebody making a play. Montez Sweat. I gotta be honest. He has looked so much better than Chase Young this preseason. I have never seen a quarterback who was more inaccurate on a fucking curl route than Sam Howe. Not only does he take six seconds to get the ball out of his hand, he misses wide so much. Like, I'm almost terrified to ever have a play with that route in it. He's just so bad at it. I need somebody to hold a block for me. I got to get one hole here. B-Rob, since the first quarter, has just not looked good at all. Oh, both safeties are sitting back. Neither, neither one of them came up for a route. Damn. Fourth and four, we are going for this. Come on, offense. Show me something. Don't let them get off the blocks. Don't let them off. I tried to run. I tried to run. I don't know why. I panicked. I tried to go for it. I think I'm just going to start using the damn defensive tackle. Oh, make a play. Make a play, Fuller. Oh. Not the screenplay to Jamar Chase. Y'all are not letting him get this first down. God bless. All right, this is going to be the last drive for the ones. Can we put six up on the board? We're going to throw the curl route. It's just, it's so bad. He's so inaccurate. Both safeties are up close. Here comes the blitz. We got McLaurin. We actually had a play that worked. Let's go, Terry. Scary Terry down the sideline. We got six on the board. Okay, it took a double safety blitz for us to actually get something over the top, which is unfortunate because you don't want to rely on bad defense. But we did the smart thing. We audibled out of a bad play call into a good play call, and we got six for it. The work that T. Higgins is putting in right now on Kendall Fuller is almost depressing. That route is absolutely killing me. I can't get over there to cover it. Drop the ball. There's no way. Y'all catch fucking everything. Oh, that is going to drive me insane. 48 catching. I'm going to I'm gonna have to put it down to 45. Like, they literally catch everything. It's disgusting. A Joe Mixon. Fuck you, Joe Mixon. Hello. I was just going to say, my first team defense had been pretty damn solid this game. And then that happened. I know this quarter is about to end, and that means the twos are coming on the field. I think I might actually keep the first unit offense out here. Dude, I just hit a curl route. I just need to see you actually hit a curl route. I don't know if it's me. Is it the new passing thing? All right, I'm going to classic. I don't know, because I, I don't know anything about that new passing mechanic, and that could be just me fucking up all these curl routes. I don't know. So we're going to find out. And that was, I, I don't, that was just Sam Howe. I don't know. I can't do nothing with him. 
I can't. This is going to be a very, very long season to get to the draft. Like, let's be all the way honest here. Would y'all, would Jacoby Brissett give me a better chance at winning this season? Yes. But is Brissett our long-time option to quarterback? No. We have to find out if Sam Howell is going to be decent or not. Cornelius Lucas goes down. That sucks. All right, we're coming out of the big formation. Can my O-line get a push? Oh, oh, we got a push. Jonathan Williams gets a touchdown. Okay. But once again, it did not go in our favor. 41-20 is how the preseason is going to end here. Um, I'd love to say there was some decent highlights in this game, but we got absolutely torched by Burrow. No surprise. 82% completion percentage. I honestly think... We might have to play with these sliders a little bit, turn the QB accuracy down just a notch. Maybe the wide receiver catching for the CPU as well, because holy shit, they don't drop anything. Sam Howe, um, not good. Jacoby Brissett, solid two picks, but he completed the ball, which is more than what we can say for Sam Howe. Robinson looks solid. Expect that out of him. Deami Brown looked really good. Terry McLaurin looked really good. I'm no surprises there. Who has been the bad spot? All right, so the tight end. No, it's right tackle, Wiley. Defensively, did anybody do anything? We get any sacks? We got two sacks, Danny Johnson and Montez Sweat. Okay, so, I mean, we actually outgained Cincinnati. We outrushed them by a good little bit here, and we actually outthrew them. I I'm surprised we did that. But it's the turnovers, man. And at four turnovers, it's just, you cannot do that on all Madden. Well, at least Cosme got a skill upgrade out of that. We'll take that one. Just put that towards Agile. That is the scheme fit. So he's up to a 76. We'll take the four upgrades right there. He's quite my man. A 66309. Okay. A little light in the britches. All right. The final step of the preseason is here. We got to make the cuts, man. 20 players have got to go. Some of these will be easier than others. I mean, 33 overall, you will never play a down in your life. Good grief. Garrett Jones Smith, Trent Scott. Man, we had a, there's a lot of really bad players on this team. Good grief. Some of these cuts just don't even. I mean, well, I guess we'll move, we'll have, we'll put you on the practice squad just so we got some players there. Cut Potato, Xavier Henderson. I mean, 24 will practice squad you same thing here I mean, so far these cuts have been pretty straightforward all right so marcus kemp was actually not terrible in the preseason he made some plays i think i can't remember if it was game one or game two we may hang on to him we'll see what happens here in a second i'm moving i'm putting wild goose on the practice squad just because I, I can't say goodbye to him yet troy apke on the other hand we can get rid of you henry go to the practice squad Parsons getting cut. We're going to put Patterson on the practice squad. Cut Butler. We got to cut two more players here. So we've got some. I mean, I think Terrell Burgess is safe for the most part. I mean, we're keeping Martin just because he's got the. Yeah, we can't cut him. He's got the death trait. We don't know what it is. Force is the starter. Ridgeway was another guy they were wanting us to cut here. Do we cut Ridge? He's 24, or do you cut Anderson? I mean, either way, we've got a pretty big log jam here. I think you cut Anderson and get the 1.2 million. And then we keep four with Ridge, Mathis, Payne, and Allen. Plus, Ridgeway is three years younger, so more time to develop. Okay, I think we're doing that. One final cut. We got two ends. I don't really want to cut two hill just because I'd like to keep five. Keaton Sutherland is awful. Awful. We don't have any depth on the offensive line. So we may have to cut him and then cut somebody else and then go sign a guard. Yeah, I hate to do it, but I think we're gonna have to say goodbye to Marcus Kemp. I mean, honestly, out of him and Dax Milne, I don't I, yeah, Milne. Kemp played better in the preseason. I don't know if Dax even caught a ball, to be all the way honest with you here. But he is 24 compared to 28, but he's 6'4", 210. We don't have really any size at all here. I think we're going to move Dax to the practice squad. 
I think that's going to be the play here. We're going to keep Kemp up just so we have the big body receiver that we don't really have anywhere else. So this is the way the roster is going to shake out. We kept all three quarterbacks, although I'm still not against getting rid of Jake Fromm. We got four backs on the roster here. Still got a fullback for whatever reason. Wide receiver core looks to be set. So I think what we might end up doing, we might go pillage some practice squads around the league. See if we can find any young players people are not too crazy about. And then uh, maybe we can turn them into something. Maybe they can, I mean, we got room for playing time all over the field here. So I think that's where we're gonna leave off episode two. The preseason is officially in the books here. Regular season week number one awaits. The Arizona Cardinals coming to Washington to take on our commanders. We'll get our draft class set up. We'll take a look through the free agents, see if maybe we can make an addition or two here to kind of help out in certain spots that we are lacking tremendously. Then it's full go, man. We got, let's see what happens. I, I don't expect a whole lot out of Washington, but that's why you pick a team like this so you can have fun with the rebuild. And that is what we're gonna do here. So I will see y'all in episode three. You know what to do. Hit the like button on the video if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you wanna see some more Washington Commanders content here on the channel. Other than that, I will catch you on the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Take it easy. Peace.